Hey awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to another Bannerlord video. In this one, I'll be talking about, well, some of the easiest stuff, which is how to respect your skills, where to do it, how much it costs, stuff like that, and how to change your character, you know, stuff like that, in case you run into trouble where your character is not as good as you want it to be, and stuff like that, or, you know, you want to retire that character things like that but before we get started i just want to say that if we can get to 575 subscribers by christmas we'll be two, we'll, we'll be doing 25 dollar gift card giveaway and i do stream on kick i'll be streaming more battle lord now and i do have my discord link in the description and last but not least is if you want to see something else on the channel be it another battle lord thing or a different game do let me know down in the comments i appreciate it and i do listen to your comments and i read them and yeah but with that said let's get into the video this video is about well like i said changing your skills and how to change your character so in order to change your skills you want to have some money obviously you're not going to need hundreds of thousands uh, the amount will be determined by your skills and how many skill points you have in there so if you have a skill with 293 it will cost a lot more than a skill with a hundred. So, in order to change it, you want to go to any town, be it your town, or a neutral town, or anything. And then, you want to go to the arena. Then, you want to enter arena. And then there, you will meet a wonderful person named Arena Master, or Tournament Master. With him, you go up to him, you talk to him, right? It give you a bunch of things that you want to pick. These teachers who help people hone their skills and learn new habits. Can you help me find one? And then he'll give a bunch of dialogue. If you don't have this option, just pick a random option to talk. And after you go through the dialogue, he will give you that this option. Once you have it here, you'll pick. Do you want to have it for yourself? Or do you want to have it for your clan member? In case you get a wonder who is, let's say, a scout. But he didn't get a good scouting perk. You know? Um, you want to change it. No, you can pick. Unfortunately, I can't see my... Uh... There we go. Let's say you have a scout. And he, instead of getting day travel, he picked night. And But you want a date. You can change it for your uh, scout. Now. Remember how my bow was uh, very expensive? Which will, why it will cost me 11,720 to fully respect it. Which I'll still keep the 300 bow, but all the skills that I picked will be uh, reset. Right? If, for example, I wanted to do like one handed, since I have almost nothing in there, it will only cost me 1,160. So if you want to respect, you want to have around 15,000 or less, again, like I said, depending how much you have. So we're going to respect our bow. So you can see, you know, if you wish to focus on both, yeah, we'll pay 11,000. He took it, already happened enough, or we can fine tune another skill if you want, or another clan member skill, but we're done here, and we want to get out of here. Right, so you can see our, oh, sorry, it wasn't 300, it was 293 bow. You can see fully changed, and then you can pick whatever you want. Let's say you want to go from bow control to dead, and boom, you can do so. No, and you can change it as many times as you want as long as obviously you have the money um, let me just pick it for myself again this stuff uh, I went over in my previous video or two videos ago and uh, if you want to see which skills I pick or I would prefer depending on what stuff I do you can see there But, now with all of this stuff done, right, boom, you can change it again for the same amount. Now, let's say you stuck with a character that is not, uh, not good, right? For example, um, if we pick our guy, again, let's say he was very old and you want to retire him, right? Or... If you just want to get rid of him and play as uh, his, uh, his, oh, 
Never mind. If you're in campaign, you would have a brother. Let's say you want to get rid of Egan and play as Corrine, right? Or if you have a female and you want to retire her because she's old and she won't have any kids, you can go to a special place, right? So we're going to go there and you will be able to see what you need to do. It is not very far from where we at. It will be pretty quick and easy. It is uh, right here, the retreat. If you don't see the retreat, just remember it's between Lagera and Roro at this mountain. So we're just going to go over there. Ignore the rest of the background stuff. It's from uh, one of my playthroughs, but that's where you want to head, right? Again, if you don't see it, just head to uh, little, well, to the mountain above uh, Heritoga Castle. We can get there anytime. And you can do this at the start of the game. Let's say you started a campaign, but you don't want to play the character that you pick. And you want to play as a brother, because the brother, once you get him, is pretty, pretty good. So you can over here, and it will give you, you at the base of the Mount Arithos, an ancient volcano that has, been long, that has long been a refuge for oracles, seers, and mystics. High up a steep valley, you can make out a number of caves carved into the soft volcanic rock. Coming closer, you see that some show signs of habitation. An old man in worn and tattered robe sits at the mouth of the caves, meditating in the cool mountain air. You can approach if you want to change your character. <laughs> so you go through a loading screen, you know, do this wonderful stuff, and you will end up being on a horse or on foot if you don't have a horse. Right. Unfortunately, we got a better way to get, and uh, probably you want to have four so you don't have to run as much as I do. But we're just going to run while we do this. Also, while you're watching, I do have a channel membership. It's only 99 cents. Um, if you become a channel member, it'll be awesome. There's no perks besides being shouted out at the end of the video, and it'll help the channel just another way to support the channel that's about it right you don't have to do it if you don't want to now we are almost at the hermit again with the horse it will be much much faster that's some cool stuff unfortunately you can't really see much and we are well at the hermit now when you talk to a hermit he will have a couple options you know just do a kick, he'll do his dialogue, and you can enjoy, you can say, power can, mean, uh, power can mean the power to do good, you know, or I rather enjoy wealth and power, right? And he'll give you the dialogue uh, according to that, you know. Uh, and you can go, well, perhaps I'd like to know a peace for a while, but I need to think about the future of my clan, or I'm not sure I share your idea of the freedom. We'll go with the other one, the top one, where you enjoy freedom, and you can pick who you want uh to take over the clan right you can have corain which is my wife or if you have an heir or a brother it will be listed here or you can choose to not name anyone and just end the game or if you don't want that you can just i changed my mind boom right now i'm not sure i share freedom idea boom it ends now before we go unfortunately we can't save but if we did uh, choose Corrine, it will pick her, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to end the game. And I got more tired. Your game will end. Would you like to continue? I'm going to say yes. And over here, it shows you the stats. Sometimes they're not correct. You know, it shows your play time, your real life world time, which is definitely not correct. Your children, all the stats, you know, battle statistics, which definitely did not lose many battles. Now, some of it is not correct, but you can you can see some stuff, you know. That's not how it should be collected. I wish it was, you know. You can see some of the stuff, but that's it. Now, game over. If you chose Corrine or another person, you'll play as that, and the other person will just be retired. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and 
Don't forget to stash them. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.